Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. As with any repair, be sure you've unplugged the appliance before beginning. Your first step is to move the control panel out of the way. To do this, remove the screws found at either end. On some models, these screws may be located in the rear panel, or they may be covered by plastic end caps. Pull the end cap off from the top to access the screw. Remove both screws and rotate the panel up. Some models use clips instead of screws to secure the control panel. Insert a putty knife between the control panel and the cabinet to release the clips. Unplug the wire connector and snap out the spring clips using a flathead screwdriver. Tilt the cabinet towards you, slide forward, and remove. Your next step is to remove the water inlet spout. Use pliers to release the clamp that secures the hose to the spout and pull the hose off. Push the two tabs of the spout outwards and lift up to detach the spout from the rear panel. Now remove the agitator. If the dispenser has a lock ring, pull the ring up with your fingers, then twist the dispenser upwards to remove. Next, remove the agitator cap. Depending on your model, you may also need to remove a dust cap. Hold the agitator base and use a 7 16 inch socket to remove the bolt and washer. Lift the agitator off of the drive shaft. Use a spanner wrench and hammer to remove the tub nut. Next, remove the tub ring. Press down on the rim to help release the eight tabs. Now, remove the inner tub by lifting it straight up. Your next step is to detach the drive block. Gently tap the block with a hammer to loosen, then pull it straight up off the drive tube. Use pliers to remove all three suspension springs from the mounting brackets, along with the tub counterbalance spring. Next, remove the three spring mounting brackets. Disconnect the water level pressure switch tube. Release the clamp that secures the drain hose to the tub port and pull the hose off. Be prepared for water to spill out. Next, remove the outer tub by lifting it straight up off the mounting stem assembly. You may need to use some lubricant to successfully remove the tub. Once the outer tub is removed, set it on its side. You're now ready to replace the tub seal. If still intact, remove the old seal. To install the new tub seal, turn the tub upside down and push the seal in until it snaps into place. Slide the outer tub back onto the mounting stem assembly. Secure the drain hose to the tub port and connect the water level pressure switch tube. Reinstall the three spring mounting brackets. Reconnect the three suspension springs and the counterbalance spring. Replace the drive block by aligning the two slots in the block with the two tabs in the drive tube and pushing the block down into position. Carefully replace the inner tub onto the drive shaft. Align the tub ring with the outer tub and secure it with the eight tabs. Screw the tub nut onto the drive block and tighten it with the spanner wrench and hammer. Place the agitator back onto the drive shaft and reinstall the bolt and washer. Replace the dust cap if your bottle has one. Replace the agitator cap. If your model has a rinse dispenser, push it down until it snaps into place and press the lock ring down with your thumbs. Reinstall the water inlet spout by inserting the top portion of the tabs into the rear panel, then push the bottom portion of the tabs outward and press down to lock the spout into place. Reattach the hose and secure it with the clamp. Now reinstall the cabinet. 
The front edge of the cabinet slides underneath the base frame. Use your foot to push it into position. Align the two notches in each side of the cabinet with the tabs on each side of the base frame. Now ease the cabinet to match up with the rear panel. Reinstall the spring clips. Reattach the wire connector. Rotate the control panel down and lock the clips into place. Or reinstall the two screws. If applicable to your model, replace the end caps by aligning the tab with the slot at the bottom and snapping the cap into position. You're now ready to plug the appliance back in to make sure it's functioning properly.